ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Just Plain Living. I'm John Gray. Good morning. I'm Peggy Burton. And I'm Jim Fuller. And we're happy to be here. <laughs> are we? Are we're we proud to be here. <laughs> is this not the most beautiful weather? Uh, yes, it is. Oh yes. my goodness, I've Wonderful been weather. grabbing hold of each day. It's so pretty. Yeah, and, well, it lasts. and Peggy, when you get our age, that we have to grab a hold of each I know, each moment. No, yes. It yeah. might be the last. Right. Yeah, you know, I, I saw uh, uh, Koozie Moore had something on his his uh, Facebook page about he went fishing yesterday and didn't catch anything, and he said, and it was just a wonderful day. It really didn't matter. It was just a wonderful day. Yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't, he you probably don't didn't put anything on his yeah, door. Nobody goes to catch fish. Let's <laughs> go yeah, beyond I, the lake. I, I've, I heard that line and I'm trying to think I think I can say this on the air I heard that line from one of my friends one time uh, who was single and you know mm -hmm. went out a lot to chase the ladies and, and really? uh, yeah yeah friends of yours could yeah that be? And, 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 and and when he when he got to be about 55 he said you know what I still want to do that, you know, go out and chase the women. But if I don't catch one, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's okay. You're a lot of work. Not that yeah. important anymore. Yeah, it's not, it wasn't quite as important as it might have been at one time. So. <laughs> Announcement. Ted, what? Ted finished my patio. It looks Did beautiful, he? yes. And Ted worked on your patio for how long? Long enough, but it, <laughs> he did a great job. He really did. Oh, I'm sure. He's very meticulous yeah. in what he does. I'm proud of it. Well, that's, that's encouraging. Let's see, this has been going on. No, I, don't, I really don't know. <laughs> but your, how's your roof coming along? My house is covered, my garage is covered, and now they're on the pool house and the well house. So it's almost finished. So now I can wow. stay out of the rain. Stay out of the rain. <laughs> Uh, if you'll loan me a couple of yeah, dollars. Yeah, I was getting ready to say, did, did you have to take out a, a bond issue to get it, <laughs> yeah. get it paid for? <laughs> Of course, there probably wasn't any hail out your way, was there? Everybody in my neighborhood got new roofs from hail except me. Really? Not, not one piece of hail touched my yard. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? That's a story of my life. I thought, God, there this is hail it. hail everywhere. It looked get, like snow. And, and, and now, know. if hail gets you, you, you don't get as much insurance for it anymore. There's a new policy for well, everybody. Course. Now it's, now what do you call it, prorated or something? Yeah, they you yeah. pay all that yeah. money, and then once you get a claim, they don't, they don't get honestly, it. I, I don't think insurance companies do replacement. There were roofs all around me. You know, they depreciate it for however long. They do now. Had, yeah, but, however long had it. But I think with, until this year uh, yeah. or last year, they changed the policy. Anyway. Yeah. That's it. That's the story of my life. That's the story of life. 40, 41A. I think 41A. 41A people are ready to go. Ready to go here in Tullahoma this weekend. I know Chief's here this morning, and and uh, there's some people with the city, and we have some 41A we people going to be Andrew here. We have Andrew from East Lincoln School to talk about a benefit. We have the Ivins family from the Millennium Theater in Manchester. We have a great Wonderful. show. Wonderful. Yeah, there's a lot of mm -hmm. folks coming in today, and and uh, a lot of information for you folks out there. I know. Get your pencil out. <laughs> get your pencil out. <laughs> Write it down. No, they don't do that anymore. <laughs> I don't know what they get their iPad right. and, and They've got one of those yeah. little phones and they're going like this and and there it all is, right yeah, there. there exactly. it is. And when you're supposed to go somewhere, an alarm will ring and a little voice will say, it's time to go to the 41A. Yeah, know. <laughs> you know, and the neatest thing, of course, I didn't know I had it on my phone. Uh, you and I don't know anything. We don't know anything. <laughs> we don't know anything. <laughs> we don't like electronic <laughs> devices. But, we but now you, you can just, uh, instead of writing it down, you can just push this little microphone thing. And talk to it. And yeah. speak into it, and it puts it in there and reminds you. When, Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was, I was wanting to send something the other day, uh, a message. And a person had sent me a message, and I responded. And there were there was a group of people involved in this conversation. And I said to friend, I said, you know, I, she said, well, did you send that message back to all of them? And I said, well, I don't know. <laughs> does it does it go back to all of them? And she said, well, there's a thing that you can push that says, says reply, reply to, to all. all. And I said, really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh. So you don't have to do individually. Of course, you have to be yeah. careful about that. You know, you, there might be things you wouldn't want everybody to see. So, there's a lot of scammers out there, by the way, these days. You need to be careful what you put on your iPads and your phone and this and that. And what you and what you reply to. Exactly. Because yeah. there's some things I guess just if you, you they put to. something that's real interesting, 
there'll be an interesting picture or an interesting quote there. And, and you'll sometimes think, they steal people's names. I wonder what that is. And mm -hmm. if you click on it, then all of a sudden you start getting all kinds of things. Oh, yeah. I just delete all of them. <laughs> Early on when I first started using the computer, uh, I would probably get all screwed up, but sometimes I get the same message like a thousand times, and I'd have to go have somebody clean it out, but, you know, that's not true anymore. Well. Kind of figured it out. <clears throat> you know, what is it, what is it they call that? Defragging? Yeah, uh, I need to be defragging term, yeah. myself. I don't know if that's defragging, though, but defragging has to do with Cleaning getting all up. your files in the right places, and, you yeah. know, because they're all over your hard drive. Right. Right. Are all, your files, are all your files in the right place? Listen, my files are so scattered. <laughs> but we, we, you know, people that grew up in our era have, have been under a tremendous amount of pressure because we've been forced to adapt to all this new technology. You know? Well, there's one thing about it. If you so, want to keep up with anybody, you've got to understand it. John, John and I held it. out on the texting thing <laughs> absolutely as long as we could. I, I mean, still hold out. <laughs> you know? I, and my and it's still, I still yeah. find it frustrating because... Uh, like I can't, I can't see my phone without my glasses. But I don't think right. my glasses. Should, but I don't think my glasses should drive, and and so Chief Blackwell has this rule that he he says you shouldn't text and drive and, and all you that really kind shouldn't. of stuff. No. So consequently, I find myself if somebody's texting me and I'm driving, I got to stop and pull over. Pull over on the side of the road. And see find your glasses. Find my glasses and see if it's Which important. Which are probably left <laughs> over here on the table somewhere. Which could be. Anywhere. Jimmy Fuller has more pairs of glasses than anybody I know. No. I, I may do. have I may have more. I've got a gla set of glasses. They're cheap, but they're you know by the computer, by every phone in the house, and so I have glasses. Yeah, I have a pair in my hand right now. Right. <laughs> and don't and I, know why. And some, somewhere <laughs> yeah. in my life, I have a pair of real glasses that well, these I have are a real. prescription for. The rest of them are things I bought at Kmart or Office Max or somewhere. Uh -huh. so, you know, Raiders. Yeah, Raiders. 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 That's right. I used. I love this story. I used to teach with. Claude Snotty's wife, and, and she said that he would send her, and he's a doctor, he was a doctor, right. a wonderful one, yeah, and he would, send her, <laughs> he would send her into the drugstore to get him cheap glasses because he didn't want anybody to see him get them. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't want any of his uh, yeah. any of his doctor <laughs> eye doctor buddies to know he was doing that. Did That's he? right, yeah. Anyway. Um, so the 41 A's this weekend, Tullahoma High School, <coughs> excuse me, you folks out there Homecoming. driving around, driving around this week, it's homecoming week, and there'll be all kinds of activities going oh, yeah. on around town, so just be a little more watchful. Mm -hmm. uh, it's always good when school's in session to be watchful anyway, but it's homecoming week, and you know, there's no telling what you're liable to see. You know, it's nice to be watchful all the time. Well, it is. You need to be, always be watchful. And I think, I think the smile. 41A Music Festival is probably going to draw eight, ten thousand people. It will. It probably does. Usually does. Yeah. There'll be lots of people. Well, uh, Ed Hogue's Ed Hogue's nephew, Will Hogue, is going to be here Friday night. He'll be the the closer Friday night, and he had a Grammy-nominated song last year. Right. And uh, also, uh, we played it last week. Uh, the he wrote the new. Chevrolet commercial mm -hmm. song that, that's, it, that's behind it. It's called Strong, Very and nice. uh, so he's <clears throat> he's a he's a sort of a acoustic kind of a guy. Yeah, I like I like his music a lot. He writes he writes very well. And when's Valerie Buckner performing? With she's the hot performing rocks? Pop Rocks is I think yeah. uh, Saturday night. We all watched her grow up, and it, it's yeah, great. Yeah, to have her in, she's town. yeah, she's she's a great entertainer. Great Lots entertainer. of good stuff. Yeah. What about you, Fuller? What do you got? What do you have to report? <laughs> Don't sit over there looking like that. Oh, it's always got to enter in here. It's always so much pressure, you know. <laughs> right. Yeah, in life. Yeah, and for you folks that don't real, realize this, the guy that sits in that chair is under the most pressure because I sat in that chair for years, and finally you decided to get out. One, one day I came in, and, and, and for some reason we put John over there, and I thought. I like it a whole lot better over here. <laughs> oh, we can, we can just catch a nap, can't we? Yeah, because if you're sitting in that chair, uh, the pressure is on you to make the conversation flow. You know. Yeah. I like it much better over here, John. Yeah, that's all right. So, it's all right. Yeah. Peyton Manning, twelve touchdown passes. Twelve touchdown in passes can you in three that? games. Yeah. Uh, wow. Just masterful. Yeah. 
and uh, Wes Welker. I know Tom Brady's cries that wakes up every morning crying <laughs> that Wes Welker yeah. is gone because he's he's a phenomenal receiver and uh, it's. For you sports people, you not even you non-sports people, you need to uh, sometime over the next month uh, you need to tune in on ESPN because they've done a documentary on the Manning family. It's called The Book of Manning, mm -hmm. and it's about it's about all from Archie all, all the way, way through, through. and uh, they're an amazing sports family, and well, they call just, them the first family of football. Because, they're just genuinely nice people too, yeah, from everything are. I've read. And I saw during the ball game last night, Peyton was talking to somebody, and he had his hand over his mouth. And I'm thinking, you know, this this kid is so well, he's not a kid. This man is so smart that he knows there's either one or two things happening. He's either talking about a play to this guy, or he might have been saying something with a with a little bit of color in it. <laughs> and you know, be careful, somebody will pick and, it up. And instead of somebody reading his lips. Mm -hmm. And tarnishing title, that yeah. that shiny, that shiny uh, reputation. reputation, he's smart enough to put his hand over his mouth. Sure. He will not get in an elevator alone with a woman. If he's in an elevator and a lady steps in the elevator, he, he will steps immediately out. steps out of the elevator and waits for another elevator. It, isn't it a shame that you got to do that these days? But I mean, it, that's yeah. quite that's very smart. Even my son yeah. does that in his work. Yeah. He has, if there's a female driving the Jeep, then there's a soldier in the back seat. He will not go by himself. Yeah, Isn't and which is a good idea. Which is a really good idea, so, unfortunately. Anyway. Fame. So. Fame. You know, <laughs> you know a, lot of, a lot of these people, a lot of these people involved in, in athletics and celebrity, you know, are all upset because they have no freedom and they have no privacy. But that's part of it. That's why you get paid that's those gazillion yeah. dollars. You have to deal with it. Yep, absolutely. Well, not everybody gets a gazillion dollars, but still, there a lot of them do. And they have mm -hmm. to deal with it, just like we have to deal with that big X over there, because Jimmy oh, said we're to done, go? <laughs> and the hot seat is cooling down right now, because we get to go to commercial, <laughs> and when we come back, we will have some great information for you on the rest of the Living Show. Hang around. What is Rotary? We're a network of people like you. In fact, we're the original social network. More than one million of us live just about everywhere you can think of. And we mean everywhere. We get together to exchange ideas, grow our businesses, and make new friends. We volunteer to help our own communities or someone else's. We're right around the corner. Come join us. The name is Rotary. Rotary International. You're welcome. This facility was built literally on the international dateline to bring charter customers tomorrow's technology first. Like Charter Internet, which was just made faster again. With speeds up to 100 megs, you can download a movie in two minutes. The number one internet service provider in the nation. Click. Fogelman, good luck with the presentation tomorrow. Already nailed it. Get Charter Internet Express for only $19.99 a month. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to have our segment now called Police Pointers with uh, Telehome Police Chief Paul Blackwell, who is here today with an interesting topic. Uh, I am quite sure, and you were mentioning before we came back on the air, that, that the topic that we did last time you were on a couple of weeks ago about the center lanes, right. you've had some comments about that. Yes, uh, the last time we got together, we talked about the two-way left turn lane, mm -hmm. which is that center lane down the main roads that you can get into to make a left turn. Mm -hmm. I was... Uh, approached by several people after that and uh, talked about how that was one of their pet peeves, how they get frustrated at people misusing that lane. So several people uh, gave comments and then of course they have follow-ups of well, why don't you do something on this topic or this topic. Sure. And one of them was stop signs, so we'll talk about stop signs today. Okay. I know we did that probably several months ago, but again it's always good to uh, oh, absolutely. do a refresher. I, if, we, if, we, if we have talked about it, I don't remember it. <laughs> so I need, I need a refresher. That, and that's good. Um, but first, some of the activities we have coming up this weekend. As y'all said uh, earlier, this is a busy weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, 
the high school has homecoming Friday night, football game. The 41A music festival starts Friday night. Then Saturday morning we have the, we, the city, the community, mm -hmm. has a uh, memory walk for Kate Bratcher for cancer. Mm -hmm. That begins at 1030 on Grundy Street, so you'll see people up and down Jackson Street during that event. It's a 5K, three-mile run-walk type mm -hmm. thing. Uh, starts at 1030, so be aware there'll be a lot of pedestrian traffic. And at 9 o'clock in the morning, the mayor's having his monthly bike with the mayor activity, and that starts at uh, East Middle School. So there's going to be traffic, people on bicycles. Sure. I know Winston's going to be here today, so I don't want to take too much of his thunder, so let him discuss those things. But it's going to be a busy weekend, of course. 41A is on Saturday as well. Mm -hmm. Jackson Street, or the area of 41A, there's going to be some road closures, so be aware of that. Look at the signs and... Uh, uh, shouldn't be any problem, but be aware that there'll be some closures there. Are you? That's got to spread you guys pretty thin, does it not? I mean, like Friday night, you know, you got this homecoming football game going mm -hmm. on, and you also got that street festival at the same time. There right? is a lot of activity that uh, we do out of what you would consider normal police. You right. know, we think of the police as driving around in the car and answering calls and working traffic, but there's a lot of activities that we have to plan for and staff, which means overtime, people on their off-duty right. time coming in. So, uh, you know, you hate it for the officers because it's not do your 40 hours and go home. Right. It's do your 40 hours and then what else are the needs of the community. Exactly. Uh, so each one of these events, we have to review and see how it's going to impact us from a resource standpoint. Mm -hmm. and, and it does. Uh, 41A is going to take a lot of people because we're going to have a lot of people in a small, confined area. So we've got to make sure we have sufficient police coverage. I, I know you guys have, have done a great job uh, with that the last several years. But for me, I can really relate to that. <laughs> Having ran a, a nightclub for a long time where you might have three, 400 people in there, I, I can't imagine being <laughs> responsible for the security when you've got 9,000 or yeah. something like well, that. Well, yeah, we've so, been, it's, it's you know, been a right. very good crowd. Uh, we've had only one or two incidents each year. Mm -hmm. And again, if we're talking four, five, 6,000 people, alcohol, close confinement, music, right. you know, one or two incidents is, is really pretty That's, good. That is very good. That and, very uh, good. you know, so I have to applaud the people that come to that. They're, uh, they're enjoying themselves. They're having a good time but they're not getting out of control. You know, my experience always was that, that mo in most events, 99% or 99.5% of the people know how to act and will act nice. Mm -hmm. But boy, though, that other half percent can really cause you a lot Right, of and that's what our officers will be looking for during the event. Yeah. Or who is that person or people that seem to be the one yeah. percent that we need to focus on? And, yeah. and, and sometimes we try to get some of their, if they're in a crowd, get one or two in the crowd and say, look, you know, you might need to calm this person down exactly. a little bit, or you need to think about getting them out of here right. before we have to do something. And, and it's worked pretty well for us. Right. We're there to make sure everybody has a good time. Right. And if it means taking one or two out so the others can have a good time, then that's what we'll have to do. Right. Okay. So that was our the quick segue into <laughs> talk about stop signs. Uh, you know, stop signs are one of those things that is you would think is very simple. Mm -hmm. If you pull up to a four-way stop and you come to a complete stop, it shouldn't be too difficult to figure whose turn it is to, to go through the intersection. Right. But what we find, and I drive an unmarked car, so I get to see it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't always get to the people and stop them and have a conversation with them. But there are people that seem to think it means come up, you know, there's an acronym for stop, slightly tap on pedal. <laughs> That's what a lot of people do. They just come yeah. up, hit the pedal, and go on through the intersection. Uh -huh. Or people that will turn right, they must think it's, if it's clear, you can turn right without stopping. Mm -hmm. But there's people that I've seen that just approach a stop sign, turn right, and never even come to a stop or close to a stop. And, you know, those things are going to draw attention to a police officer if they happen to be in that area. And uh, a, a running a stop sign is a $165 fine. Oh, my goodness. And that other, the few seconds you lost by coming to a complete stop is not worth the $165 fine. 
or if you do get stopped, how much longer have you now been delayed? Because sure. a traffic stop takes anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes or longer. Mm -hmm. So you've not done yourself any good. Now, the state defines stopping as a total cessation of movement. Right. I mean, it's in the statute. That's yeah. how it, and what that means is your car has to come to a complete stop. Wheels, the tires, that's what police officers look for, have the tires come to a complete stop. You know, if you're watching an intersection, all you have to do is look at the tires. Yeah. If you look at the car, that's misleading because when you apply your brakes, you know, the car lurches forward. Right. And, you know, so don't watch that. And coming in this morning, I want to make it a point. When I come to a complete stop, you feel your car go backwards. Yeah. So you know you've stopped. And how many people we stop and they say, well, I thought I stopped. Come on. You know, right. you know you didn't stop. <laughs> right. And, and I was using the analogy that most of us are parents, and if we have to get on to our kids and we tell them to stop doing something, stop jumping on the bed, stop, yeah. stop poke, picking at your brother or sister, we don't mean just slow down. We mean <laughs> stop. stop. Yeah, okay. And that's what a stop sign means. Come to a complete stop. Make sure it's clear. Now, who has the right of way? If, if two cars get there at the same time, the car to the right has the right of way. I mean, that's what I thought. That's if you get there mean. before the other car, you have the right of way. Right. Uh, you know, but of course, what I tell people is make eye contact with someone. Right. Make sure you're looking at him. Exactly. That, you know, one may say, go ahead. Okay. You know, communicate with the, co the other driver uh, by eyes, not by hand signals or some other type sign. Well, you, know, you know, and I find that people are, are, are by the most uh, the, the folks are pretty courteous about that kind of they thing. They are, you know, because most of them are confused. Yeah. Who want whose turn is it? Yeah. And and uh, you know, so a little wave them or come yeah. on or flash your lights at them. Yeah. You know, I think people understand that means I'm give I'm yielding to you. Go right. ahead. Right. Yeah. So, uh, now on the, on our website, the city website, I do all these articles. And, and Winston has posted them, so those articles are all out there. Mm -hmm. So anyone can read them and, and uh, get a little bit of insight as to the different topics we've discussed here and what appears in the newspapers. And yeah, it's and, out there. And this is good information because, you know, I, I probably have been driving long enough that I should know all these roads and I'd be embarrassed to ask. So it's always nice when, when Chief Blackwell comes in and sort of puts this information out there for and, us. And I think maybe it was you that said it last time is we've, we have been driving for so many years, we think we know all the rules right. of the road. And there's a lot of them that, that we just probably have forgotten have about. Have forgotten about. Maybe yeah. they've changed. I don't know. Some of them have changed, some but members. mostly we've forgotten about yeah. them. Chief, thank you so much. Right, Always thank informative you. and a great segment. We'll be right back in a moment, folks, right after these messages. Let the smokehouse be your mountain getaway destination in beautiful Monteagle, Tennessee. Enjoy our cabins, restaurant, and old general store. Shop the smokehouse.com featuring homemade barbecue sauces, jellies, and many other fine Tennessee products. Our live Music on the Mountain series features some of the best local and Nashville talent every Friday and Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. No cover, kids welcome. The highest standard of trust offers a sense of safety and comfort. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of trust in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. family's favorite show shouldn't have to fight to be seen. With Charter, you get four DVRs. So now every family member can watch what they want, when they want, where they want, without any battles. Call now to get DVR service for your home. Welcome back. You're going to be glad you hung around here because I have this wonderful teacher from East Lincoln School, first grade teacher. And Sorry, Angie Coop. <laughs> I had to burp. It's the, it's the cucumbers. <laughs> anyway, Angie is here to talk to you and me about 
a benefit that's happening in Shabbable? Yes, ma'am. It's happening in October, on October the 4th, on a Friday night at oh, 7. Oh, that's next week, isn't it? Is it next week? The following. The following week. Okay. Yes, ma'am. October 4th. Uh-huh. And that's Friday? At what 7. What time? 7 o'clock. Uh-huh. And it's a benefit for? East Lincoln Elementary. Um, our students at East Lincoln have just gotten some Chromebooks, and I think it'd be a great opportunity for all of our grade levels to get Chromebooks. And technology's changing, and I think it would be a great opportunity. Well, how did you all get the idea for this benefit? Well, we, um, I met a lady in Shelbyville. Her name is Maria, and we uh, scheduled a field trip, and that field trip was awesome. The students got to experience wonderful things. They went to her farm, was that it? Yes, What's the name of that farm? Clearview Farms. And that's where the, the benefit will take place. Yes, ma'am. Clearview Farms. On 231 South. We have a video, and I guess we ought to go ahead and watch it, or I'll forget that it's going on. There it is. Look at that. I love that. We went there Saturday and got to revisit the farm. And did the kids get to pet the horses? Yes, ma'am. They even got to go one step further. They got to ride. Oh, that's wonderful. Were they scared? No, not Isn't at amazing? all. Oh, I love this. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I would like to uh, thank Maria and Ronnie and Jesse and Chris and also my friends at East Lincoln. It takes a lot of people to bring in the money, to bring in the support. That's a phone number. Is that if you want a ticket or information it is, to call um, that number? It is. The tickets are $15 at, uh, right now, or you can pay 20 at the door, and that's on 231 South. 231 South. Yes, ma'am. That was sweet, the little boy that was grooming the horse. <laughs> they're way up there when they're first graders, oh, aren't yeah. they? Oh, did yes. you ride? Yes, ma'am, I did. <laughs> That is great. Well, David Leachman's going to be there, and he does a, a great job using uh, their horses for performing, and they, he does not use any lead rein. So. Now, you did tell me there's an arena with seating. Yes, ma'am. And the tickets are how much? They're $15. Do they need to buy them ahead of time? They can, and hopefully we were, were able to sell those at East Lincoln Elementary. Um, so if you're interested, you could also call the school. Just call the school. And ask for me or ask for someone else. Do we need to tell how to get to that farm? Um, on 231, if you're coming in from Shelbyville, it's going to be um, on the left, and it's the second barn. It's the one with the white, the, the white, the white fence. Yes, ma'am. Okay. The other one is black. So if you've passed the black one, there I am. There you are. <laughs> are you going to be riding? No, ma'am. Are you watching? <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, I love this. And they ha not only have horses out there, they probably have some other animals for the kids to see. They, they might. Um, in the arena, it will mostly be performed by David Leachman, and then they have a, a Grammy nominee singer there. Um, and you said that he was going to be uh, moving his horses to the, her music? Yes, ma'am. And what's her name? Her name is uh, Maria Ann Kennedy. Maria Ann Kennedy. And does, what kind of music does she sing? Do you know? She did give us some CDs, and the students are listening oh, to those at school. So they'll be familiar with the CDs when they yes, get there. And she'll probably have CDs for sale. To, probably. That would be nice. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he Look is at a the hook. pony. Sweet. I know the kids must have loved that. They did, and I didn't want to leave. It was so fun. We oh, had about sure. two hours of fun. And I just think of all the children that probably never in their lives got to touch a real horse. And horses can be very gentle creatures. Yes, they can. And uh, I am so impressed. So this event happens October 4th. You've got the phone number there. And I'm assuming that if you don't go to the event and you would like to just donate to this cause, it's, it's a wonderful benefit. And the, all the money goes to what? East Lincoln. We're hoping to improve it with our technology. I'm not real sure how we're going to spend that money, but... I'm sure we'll put it to good use for our students. Because we're living in a time where all students need iPads or computer. Do they have all computers in first grade? <laughs> yes, ma'am. We do use those. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yes, ma'am. They know more about them than I do. Yeah. <laughs> what is your hardest uh, job as a first grade teacher? Um, getting the room quiet. <laughs> getting the room quiet. Are they all excited when they come in? They oh, have yes, a lot to say. Yes, ma'am. That's beautiful. How many do you teach? I have 19. So obviously this event that's coming up on October 4th is family friendly. Yes, ma'am. You invite mothers and fathers and aunts and uncles and everybody that will come. And I don't know if we said, is it $15 at the, at no, it's 15 ahead of time uh -huh. and 20 at the at the, the door. door. And then children 12 and under get in free. So we, we need to make sure that if you want to pay $15, you call this number and figure out a way to get your ticket. I guess go to East Lincoln. Yes, ma'am. They should be on hand. Yes, ma'am. To, 
to get a ticket. I love this picture. I do not know if it will show, but it's this beautiful white horse. That's, <laughs> look at that. It's not beautiful. It is. It is. And I also forgot to uh, thank those horses that were on the video, Queenie and Thomas oh, yeah. and Comanche. Those and were, who did they belong to? Those were Maria's horses. They all Maria's. From the Clearview Farms. And the, now this white horse, is that his, this gentleman's own horse? Yes, ma'am. And so he brings his horse and, and the horse dances to music. Yes, from my understanding. to different... Uh, beats and whatever. Kicks ball. I mean, he oh just goodness. puts on a performance. It for sounds the... like something that everybody would love. And it, it helps those children that are that have special needs or even us as special needs to get that that feeling from an animal to relax. And, and I love the idea of the uh, special needs children that possibly are in wheelchairs and, and they get to ride a horse and and they feel like they've got legs. It's a beautiful thing. It is. It's rewarding. Well, it's a wonderful opportunity. Friday, October 4th at Name the farm again? Clearview Farms. Clearview Farms in Cheveville. Yes, ma'am. Angie, I'm so proud of you for <laughs> getting this thing up. Well, thank and thanks you. Thanks for coming on Channel 6. Well, thanks we'll for having We'll be looking me. forward to having you back. Thank you. We'll be back with more of Living. Are you a shoeanista with no place local to find your style? Well, now you don't have to travel any further than Bren's Shoe Boutique. Located at the Village on Jackson, 1940 North Jackson Street, Suite 120 in Tullahoma. From funky to formal, you can find the fit and style that will make you smile at Bren's. A shoeanista herself, owner Brenda Kemp offers brands like Rocket Dog, Jessica Simpson, Mia, Nine West, Jay Renee, Bandolino, and more. Want that accessory splash that none of your friends have? Brins offers a selection of one-of-a-kind handbags and jewelry with just the right bling. So if your shoe selection doesn't stack up, find what you've been looking for at a price you can afford at Brins Shoe Boutique, now open in Tullahoma. Hi, this is Peter, and I work for the American Red Cross. During events like this, people are always asking how they can help. For just an hour of your time, and a little stick in the arm, you too can help save a life. There's always a constant need for blood. Make an appointment with the American Red Cross and donate some blood. Call 1-800-RED-CROSS or go online to redcrossblood.org. Thank you. The Charter Triple Play lets you experience TV, internet, and phone the way you want with no contracts. Hooked on HD? Now over 100 HD channels available. Movie lover? Get 10,000 on-demand movies and shows. 1,500 in HD, including movies in 3D. Missing your favorite shows? Record and watch TV with DVR service for four rooms and over 780 hours of storage space. Get Charter TV for $29.99 a month. Photo fiend? Music fan? Video streamer? Switch to super fast Charter Internet and do it all with the bandwidth to support all your devices. At 30 megabits per second, Charter Internet is 10 times faster than the phone company's DSL. Get Charter Internet for $29.99 a month. Want more talk for less? Charter Phone has unlimited long distance calling with no added fees like the phone company charges. Get Charter Phone for $29.99 a month. The new Charter Triple Play. TV, Internet, and phone for just $29.99 a month each when bundled. Call 855-81-T-PLAY now. She was right. a beauty. All right, we're back and we're talking history because we're here with the county historian, Mr. Lewis here, and, and you're here to talk about ghost. the ghost. It's <laughs> close to Halloween time, yeah. falls in the air, the leaves are turning, and it's time to haint. The cemetery, cemetery that's right. in Manchester. Right. And let's that's explain right. to them exactly what takes place during okay. this. This is our third annual ghost tour of uh, Coffee County, uh, of the Manchester City Cemetery. It's not really scary Halloween, it's more historical. Right. I right. think than anything. What, uh, what we've had is a, uh, oh, here we go. Uh, we have, It's a candlelight tour. There are paths, marble candles uh -huh. that go through the cemetery. And various people that are, are buried there, their spirit comes forth and stands, you know, near the grave and kind of explains a little about their life and right, how right. things were during the time that they lived. Uh, it's, a, it's been uh, quite successful. Like I said, this is the third year that we've done it. 
Uh, it's associated with Old Timers Day in Manchester, which mm -hmm. is October the 5th. Right. And so our show will run starting at 5, 5.30 uh, p.m. and run till 8 o'clock uh, at the cemetery. So in, by that time, the time will have changed and it'll be... Yeah. It'll, It'll be, be dark. dark. That's right. Uh -huh. but now, There's a picture of the cemetery right there. Yeah, that's right. Some of the old stones there. Uh, not to worry, though. It's not spooky for little kids. So it's no, no, it's like not you a say, I know, uh, I know Fran, my wife, uh, her her grandfather was Bolin Morton. Uh -huh. And she, the first year y'all did that, she was one of, that's right, she was one of her great grandmothers or something and mm -hmm. and so it's it, a lot of times it is a family member of, it is. Of, of some of these folks who are buried there that's right we try to do that as much as possible yeah. because they have a vested interest in come sure sure right. and she said it was quite fun to to portray her great grandmother yeah. Yeah. and and share some of their family history most everyone that's involved, been involved in has been really excited about it and you know when they come back and participate again well, I think uh, you know the first time the first time she did that, and the first time y'all did that, I just thought that was a phenomenal idea. I'd never heard of anything like that before, and and uh, whoever came up with that did, hit a home run. <laughs> well, we kicked around the idea of maybe doing it in some of the cemeteries in Tullahoma. There's a lot of interesting historical people buried here. Mm -hmm. it, would, it would be great to represent them. Uh, the is there a fee involved in this? It's, yes. a, it's sort of a fundraiser, isn't it? It is a fundraiser for the Historical Society, and we're also using part of our monies to uh, help restore the, the old courthouse in Manchester. Right. So uh, that's another little project, but it's associated with it. But uh, uh, it's all non-profit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ours but is, it's, it's worth, what is it, $5? $5, $5 for adults, uh, $3 for school-age kids, and... Uh, um, preschool no charge yeah, no charge yeah so you know that's a that's a really fun thing that you can do and you can learn a little history and help the historical society through your donation yeah. of uh, of that money mm -hmm. to work on other good projects in the in the county yeah. well which what we try to do and uh do you do you have a new book coming out uh, uh well we've had uh, uh three times a year we have a publication that comes out uh uh, we recently did one uh, on, on this particular thing. It's called Tennessee. The state legislature uh, determined, uh, deemed uh, July to be uh, uh, called Tennessee History right. and Genealogy uh, Month. Right. And uh, invited counties to get involved in that. And uh, Coffee County decided uh, that we would come out with a certificate program. If you could prove that you're a show on paper that your ancestors were here when Coffee County was formed in 1836 and show your lineage, then you qualified for a certificate. And that's, this is uh, one right here. It's, I, yeah. I should have brought a larger yeah, one. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, it turned out to be quite well. We had like 150 people that applied, and uh, since then we've had more, 100, I think 175. Well, that's great. But, yeah, we're continuing the same uh, idea uh, this uh, for the cemetery tour. Right. These are mostly founding family people that will be represented. The ghost will will be right. here, or uh, a descendant of the of those right. people. Right. Now it's a now little. Have you have you had any real ghosts show up during this thing? Well, we've had a couple of spooky characters last <laughs> year. There's somebody oh. down taking pictures of way down the dark. They're taking pictures of tombstones. And it kind of freaked everybody out. Oh, but, I bet. I bet. A, I said it's uh, it's dark, but of course there's yeah. uh, we have the ROTC guys uh, yeah. form their their tour escorts. They, yeah. they walk that's right wonderful. With them. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Now tickets, uh, as I said, as you said, five dollars and three dollars. They'll be uh, at the Historical Society office uptown at the courthouse. They'll be for sale during the day. Okay. Uh, and uh, it gets a little crowded at around six thirty, seven o'clock. So if you come early and buy your ticket, you can schedule what time you want right. and get in a group that you want. So right. Right. It, it works out best that way. So now, uh, how does someone, you being the county historian? If someone wants to talk, get in touch with you about some something else, some history or something like that, or maybe some information they have that they want to share, mm -hmm. how can how can they get in touch with you? Just go to the historical society. That's right. There's my phone number right there on the screen. Okay. Otherwise, uh, it's actually my wife's number, but it, it <laughs> it'll work. Works. But we're at the historical society in the courthouse on the square in Manchester, mm -hmm. uh, two days a week, uh, oh, Wednes good. Wednesdays and Fridays. So there's always uh, one of the ladies there, and sometimes I'm there too. I'm the treasurer right now, so I'm there swapping nickels. 
Swapping nickels. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's someone that, you know, to assist yeah, you. And, and uh, we have phone number connections and it, uh, it works out uh, uh, real well. And we can, people bring in uh, photographs and uh, interesting tidbits to add to what we already have. So it, uh, it works out uh, quite well, a uh, okay. two way okay. uh, exchange. Um, said uh, this, this particular tour is a little different than the last one. The last one, the spirit, the actual person was actually buried there. In some cases, that will be here. But we've got a few cases of people, uh, ghosts, uh, visiting some of their descendants. Visiting there. some of their relatives there. Right. That's uh oh this, I'm sounds, one of <laughs> this sounds like fun, folks. You need to go check this out. Thank you very much All for right. being with us. I and appreciate good you luck. Good luck. Okay, thanks. All right. We'll be right back after these messages. On the train test range, the search for any possible weakness continues. It's hard to stop a train. Really hard. Train, the most reliable for a reason. Hello, my name is Joe Stroop with Stroop's Accurate Refrigeration. I'm here to talk to you about a couple incentives that are going on between now and end of the year. First is your federal tax credit up to $300. Secondly, 0% financing up to 15 months on XL products. Third, spring promotion up to $1,100. Finally, $500 incentives from your local power distributor. Please give us a call at 455-8757. Thank you. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Cove Lake, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Martin Weekly, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, Rugby in the Big South Fork, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at TennesseeTrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. If you like HD TV, you're going to like what Charter's been up to. Adding so much free HD that Charter TV is a whole new experience. National Geographic HD, Animal Planet HD, Discovery HD, Sports in HD, Movies, News, Kids Programming. Plus, Charter now has thousands of free movies and shows in HD on demand anytime. You want to see more TV in HD? Try Charter. It's smarter. Joining us on the set now, Winston Brooks, who is the community coordinator for the city of Tullahoma, and a lot of things going on in our community right now, Winston. Yes, that's right. It's going to be a busy weekend. And uh, first of all, I just want to thank you for letting me come down today and uh, talk with you a little bit. It's always great to be down here. But uh, yeah, in Tullahoma this weekend, I mean, there's so much going on. Um, homecoming, 41A, 5Ks. Right. And uh, so it's uh, something for everyone uh, this weekend. You're going out to the to festival? Oh, yeah, we always try to make that. That's, well, that's a fun event. Great. And we can sort of classify it as works, you know, so in addition nice, to nice. that. Well, that's, great. that's yeah. great. Well, what I wanted to mention today was uh, one thing that's going on Saturday morning, starting at uh, 9 a.m., is the uh, mayor's bike uh, ride with the mayor. And so we want to encourage people to come out to um, East Middle School starting at 9 a.m. And um, this is a really fun event. It's uh, geared uh, for people who are interested in biking, want to learn more about biking, want to get out with their family, uh, come down, visit with the mayor, and uh, typically uh, the police chief joins us. Um, and uh, we'll, so we're going to meet at 9 a.m. at East Middle. We'll do a short ride for about uh, four miles through the neighborhood. I think this time they're going to ride up the bicycle trail, maybe circle around Terra Estates for a while. And it's all part of the Get Fit Tullahoma Initiative. Mm -hmm. And um, you know we've done this now uh, four times, and each time uh, the uh, momentum grows. Last time we were out at um, East Lincoln Elementary, we had about 33 uh, people join us, young and old. You know, and that is phenomenal because this thing started out probably mm -hmm. with eight or ten folks, and now right. it, you know now it's really grown. That's obviously. right. That's right. And uh, so we, we're hoping that uh, Principal Edens is going to join us. Mm -hmm. And um, 
we encourage uh, all uh, students to come out and bring their uh, their parents, or if you just live in the neighborhood and uh, want to do something fun, to, to come out. And you know, another thing uh, that makes the uh, the bike with the mayor fun is typically we have a police escort. Mm -hmm. and a fire truck or two that follows us. So it's not every day you can kind of get out and ride the streets and, and be escorted by uh, city well, personnel. Heck, this is, I think I was at the first one. We didn't have a police escort <laughs> and, and the fire truck. I know. I told you, it's, it's growing. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, well, come out this time. Do you have a bike? No. <laughs> no, but but I can probably borrow one from uh, Chief Blackwell. He says he has a whole collection of them up there. Well, <laughs> we do, and uh, we're, we're looking at uh, taking those, and uh, if, they get, if I can convince him to surplus them, we're going to uh, repurpose those bikes and uh, start some sort of a, a bike program where people can use those bikes. We want you to, to, to bring a helmet. Yeah. It just always amazes me when I see kids uh, riding their bikes. I like to see that, but no helmet, you know, and their, their head is their most valuable asset. Mm -hmm. And just uh, one misstep and uh, it could be a, a costly mistake, so uh, we encourage you to bring your helmet. You know, and that's something a lot of people don't think about, and I know, uh, I, I guess the Highland Rim Bike Bicycle yes. Club is part of this, and the, you know, and I noticed that everybody that's involved in that, it's, it's what you're supposed to do these days. It's a first-class outfit, and, and I do want to thank them for their participation. Uh, they are uh, one of the reasons for our success, but it's the Highland Rim Bicycle Club. It's one of the most active clubs in the state, mm -hmm. uh, and bike clubs. And, uh, and they help us um, sponsor the event and, and promote the event. And in fact, if you go to their website, which is uh, hrbike.org or tullahomatn.gov, you can be led to their website. And they have a nice uh, mapping program that completely shows the distance, the elevation, and um, you can kind of play around with that too if you're interested in mapping out your bicycle rides for another time. But they, they are a great partner. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have uh, moved the time back to 9 a.m so that you can complete the ride and get down to the 41A Festival and join in the 5K Kate Walk that day. Kate Walk? Kate Walk. Oh, Kate Walk. Right. Okay. Um, my understanding is uh, it's uh, um, based uh, on the memory of uh, Kate Bratcher. I see, okay. So they do a fundraiser. And, and it's gonna be a fun, uh, I know uh, Chief Blackwell uh, mentioned that uh, that morning um, around the 10.30, they're going to close the intersection at uh, Jackson and Grundy to get the walkers and the runners across the street. It starts at Sinorama. Mm -hmm. And uh, the walk will then uh, go behind Systems Tri-County Bank. I'm hitting all of them today, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, wind around over to the Greenway, um, take the Greenway down uh, around the high school, uh, back up Wilson and, and end back at the 41A Festival. And, um, and then the 41A Festival folks are here, and, and they'll be able to tell you uh, what time it starts. And I think if you just hang out down there for a little while, they'll have some music pretty early in the afternoon. Okay. So that's exciting. Yeah. And, and talking about 5Ks, I do want to mention two other things, uh, 5Ks, and, and uh, there's something else coming up. I want you to save the date for Bark in the Park. But uh, the, there's another 5K coming up in the community. This this Good Fit Tullahoma. I mean, we didn't realize uh, we were hitting a nerve, and, and the community is, is really kind of getting on board with this. But we've got a 5K coming up October 26th. Mm -hmm. It's the Robert E. Lee uh, Pumpkin Run. So come out, uh, join the, um, the fun there. It's, it's a great activity for the family because you, you've got the serious 5K. You've got the, the runs for the kids. They have bounce houses. Uh, they have uh, snacks, foods, and games. So that's October 26th, Robert E. Lee. And uh, if you live in the community, come by, support the, the PTO there. And then uh, we're also uh, looking at doing a, another 5K November 16th. So uh, watch for details for that. Now, if I could just change gears on you for a second. Absolutely, go, go right ahead. Right. <laughs> Do you have a dog? Yes. How many? Well, actually, I don't exactly own a dog, but my partner has one that she's brought into the office, mm. and so I, I feel like I sort of have one, right? Just, well, but just one. Well, so you have a, a soft place in, in your heart for I dogs. I have two grand dogs. And, <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and so does the Teloma Animal Shelter. They do a, a great job. They're a no-kill facility, and um, the Teloma Animal Shelter's largest fundraiser is coming up October 12th, so please save the date, October 12th. It'll be at Wagner Park. Uh, starting in the morning and running to about three o'clock in the afternoon, and um, they have all kinds of events for the family. They have all kinds of contests. They have a smallest dog contest, largest dog contest, prizes, bounce houses. Uh, you can adopt a dog. You can come out and get your dog microchip. Get your dog um, rabies uh, clinic, and uh, they, they have a lot of other uh, fun activities mm -hmm. for 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 all the dog uh, members of your family. And I think, I think I've seen your dog before. I think it might win the smallest dog contest. 
Well, we may have a contender. Yeah. Well, the, the official owner, however, lives in Deckard, so she doesn't qualify for that event. But well, well, we need to work on that a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we can put you down as the owner. But, but the, um, the Bark in the Park, as I mentioned, October 12th, uh, the largest fundraiser for the Tullahoma Animal Shelter. And, and why that's so important is uh, they use that money to care for those dogs, right. feed those dogs, but most importantly, to get the medical care that those dogs need. A lot of times those dogs come in injured uh, or uh, near death from uh, sickness and uh, this, these monies go towards the veterinarian bills. Right. You know, and, and, and we might just mention right here, those folks down there do a great job at, at the Tullahoma Animal they Shelter. They do. I mean, they truly care about those animals. That's right, they? that's right. And, so, they, and they work awful hard. To, so get fits not just for the, the humans in Tullahoma, right. it's for the dogs too, and this right. is a way you can uh, support that, that's for right. sure. Okay. Lots of stuff going on in Tullahoma this weekend and throughout the next few weeks. So uh, That's right. A lot of exciting things coming up. That 5K run you mentioned at Robert E. Lee School, mm -hmm. that's a really neat event there. Uh, my uh, daughter and grandchildren are involved in that and, and my son-in-law. And, you know, it's like the whole family goes to that because there's something right. for everybody to participate in that, in that particular event. So. It, it really is. And uh, so if you come out, you won't be disappointed. Exactly. You know. Uh, all right. What? Okay. Go ahead, Winston. Well, I was just going to mention, as far as we're talking about Get Fit Tullahoma, uh -huh. if, if people are interested in learning more about some of the classes that are starting to form, you can call me at City Hall, 455-2648. My number again, 455-2648. And we've got uh, some uh, two, two types of classes that are forming right now. So please call me. We've got one where you can be um, counseling. We call it uh, One Fit, which is uh, pharmacy counseling about your uh, diabetes, your medications, your nutrition. Oh. And we also have some community classes, um, Living Well with Diabetes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if you are interested in learning more about those classes, please give me a call. They're all free of charge. Great information. And, uh, you know, we've, we've just had such uh, a huge success with the other uh, classes that we've got going on with the Get Fit movement. And um, we had uh, um, over 200 people sign up for uh, Joe McCamey's Lose to Win program. Mm -hmm. Part of those people are going through with uh, um, the Get Fit uh, grant that we've got. And uh, so there's a lot of opportunity out there uh, to get involved, uh, change your lifestyle. And all you got to do is give me a call, and, and I'll help you get plugged in. That's right. And uh, Winston will leave and uh, get up and jog with you every morning at 5 o'clock if you, if you need some I'm glad you reminded me about that because the 5Ks, actually, the, the mayor wants to do uh, a training uh, the Mayor's Fitness Challenge, so we're going to train six weeks before the November 16th 5K. Yeah. And, and I may be the one that's uh, standing up there with the um, the Mach 10 Running Club. Uh, hopefully they'll find somebody that can be a better trainer, but they meet Tuesday nights at 6 o'clock. And so um, starting October, I think it's October 12th as well, will be the, sort of the, the day that we start training towards that, that run. So again, if you want to learn more about training up to do a 5K, if you've never done one before, we're going to uh, get you motivated and help you do that. All right. I'm just impressed, Winston. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad you reminded me of that. That's very important. You're doing a great job, by the way. Thank you so much. I you know, I, I think you're having fun doing it. <laughs> he at that. least appears to be. All right, folks, we'll be right back in a moment with more living following these announcements. Great. Get your news first, fast, and free with your news leader on 6 every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday nights at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. Local weather, sports, community calendar events, and a comprehensive look at the latest news stories and newsmakers as only a video news broadcast can do. Get it first, fast, and free with news leader on Channel 6, your local information network. When you see the sign, the main event, take a close look inside at a hair studio that offers services by some of the best master stylists in Middle Tennessee. These stylists offer a list of services that compete with large city salons, from trendy cuts for men, women, and children, to the latest color techniques, including highlights and bold color accents. Other services offered include permanent hair weaving and relaxing to formal hairstyle for that special occasion. You can also give yourself a very special treat with a full makeover including full body waxing. For your convenience, we are open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. until the last client leaves happy. Call and make your appointment at 931-571-8682 or stop by our Telehoma location at 207 North Jackson Street. Pamper yourself at the main event today.
long has it been since you raced a cheetah? Are your tornado creating skills getting rusty? Tired of being the only one in your neighborhood who hasn't built a dinosaur? Sounds like it's time to visit the Hands-On Science Center. The Hands-On Science Center is an indoor science playground. In this museum, please touch is the rule. Join us for weekly science demonstrations on space, lasers, lizards, rocks, and a whole lot more. No two visits are ever the same, so visit often to see our ever-changing exhibits and demonstrations. The Hands-On Science Center, 101 Mitchell Boulevard in Tullahoma. Weather vanes are one of the oldest methods of weather prediction. While there are a multitude of designs, the most sensitive weather vane is this rather unattractive dish shape. It detects rain, sleet, snow, even wind. You know it's working because when the bad weather comes in, your TV signal goes out. Quite ingenious. Outdated satellite technology is no match for clear, reliable TV from Charter. We're back, and it's time for the 41A Festival, third annual 41A Festival. And look at these wonderful folks right here in effervescent shirts. Exactly. Tell us about it. Well, the uh, fourth annual 41A Music and Arts Festival fourth. is fourth. Fourth annual. I thought it was third. Paper it said third like, is fourth. It's fourth. Okay. It actually feels like the third one just ended, and the fourth one's already up on us. Yeah. And we're already planning the fifth one, so. It's going to be a good one That's this year. That's good. That's good. We're uh, downtown Tullahoma Friday night, Saturday night, or Saturday all day, Friday during the uh, evening hours, and uh, we've got a good show this year. We've got a lot of uh, national and regional acts that are paying us a visit and going to put on a good show. I'm excited about uh, Will Hope being here. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like his music. Uh, I like the way he writes. I like the way he presents it. And plus, uh, Ed Hogue, who used to live here, uh, now, recently has moved to Bellevue, I believe. That's his nephew. Ed will be back. I'm sure Ed will be back. <laughs> Ed is all, Ed travels for music. Ed is passionate about he music. Is. So, yeah, I'm excited about Will being here. I think, I think he's mm -hmm. a great artist. He is. He's actually got a, a studio album coming out about two weeks after the festival. Mm -hmm. uh, his, his website's actually taking pre orders for that now, autographed copies. Right. Uh, we mentioned that on our 41A Facebook page a couple right. weeks ago. Uh, but there's a lot of interest. I've had a lot of people uh, from all over the southeast email and asking when he's going to be there and what time, how much are tickets, those type things. Right. And tickets are so expensive for this thing, I just don't know whether people are going to show up or not. Exactly. If you see this show, just let us know and we'll let you in for free. <laughs> yeah. Free admission. That's because it's always free. We're supposed to say that. It's always free. Just for people free. watching the show. Nah. It's always free except there is a donation pot exactly. there. The uh, 41A Festival is put on by the Highland Rim Kiwanis. Uh, the mm -hmm. Kiwanis mission is to change the lives of children one community at a time, or change the world one community and one child at a time. There you go. And we only raise money by having uh, the drink sales at the festival and then donations that we take in, right. whether they're through tip jars or donation buckets at the gate. Right. And our uh, sponsors. Every bit of that. Yeah, and our sponsors. Our sponsors help us to underwrite the entire event, and you know everything we make on top of that's gravy. But every bit of the money that we make from the festival goes right back into this community to impact the lives of children. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. that's, so all, that's all stays great. local. And and uh, what's amazing to me is all the other things that take place down there mm -hmm. during the festival, other than music. There's booths and tents, and there's people doing everything from making paper hats to selling popcorn and Cracker Jacks, and there's artwork, there's craft work, there's just, it's just amazing all the wonderful things that happen during that time span. And add to that, this year there's a Corvette Club cruise in on Saturday morning. That's cool. It's going to be about 20 to 40 cars on display. Are you dancing? I'm not dancing this year. Oh, come on. Cat's doing her show, isn't she? She is, she is, but I wasn't able to do it. Uh, There's going to be some talented kids up there, though. I bet there will. You dancing? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I might be, but it might be. You in the might crowd. be. Huh? That's people. That's like people that. would ask for refunds, even though it's free. If John dances, I don't think so. I've seen his move. He's got. He he can bust a move if he needs to. There are no names for those moves. <laughs> no names. Huh? So uh, fourth year. Excited! Pop Rocks is com coming back. Uh, mm -hmm. She'll be here on what Saturday night? She's Saturday night. Uh, our Saturday headliner is Natalie Stovall, and Pop Rocks is opening for her. Right, right. And uh, so. of course, 
she was born and raised here mm -hmm. and is a well, has been a wonderful entertainer ever since she was that tall. Mm -hmm. Very so, charismatic. On very stage. charismatic. She she works it. You can learn some moves there. Uh, no, I can't. I guarantee you that. <laughs> And it's exciting when she comes back to town. Mm -hmm. uh, she uh, brings people out and they're up at other seats and uh, dancing around and having a good oh time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'd be a good it's, way to keep that vibe fun. going through the end of the night. Now, uh, talk to me about Natalie Stovall. Natalie is a uh, country performer. Uh, she uh, also plays the fiddle. She's mm -hmm. very dynamic on the fiddle. She's a very energetic performer. She tours nationally. She does about 300 shows a year. Most of her shows are college and military shows. Oh, that's uh, great. She was elected by Campus Activities Magazine as the 2012 Entertainer of the Year. Um, so everybody's going to be impressed. She'll they'll come be to worth, see Natalie. Yeah, yeah. They'll be impressed. I'm sorry. They'll, they'll come to see Valerie of the Pop Rocks. They'll stay for the Natalie show, and they'll be they'll walk away as Natalie yeah. Stovall fans. Right. That's if great. they're not already. That's great. That's great. Well, you know, I, I think the community needs to uh, say thank you to the three of you and I know there's there's a whole lot more behind the three of you helping helping to make this happen because nothing happens without an army and I know you have an army of support behind you but you know thank you for for what you've done for the last this will be the fourth year in in bringing something new and neat and wonderful to Tullahoma uh, it, it took uh, I know it's taken a lot of work and a lot of inspiration and uh, I know it's a lot of fun for all of us, so let me be an agent of the community and thanking all of you for thanking you for what well, you've done. We certainly appreciate that, and uh, the best way to say thanks is to show up and have a good time. There you go. There's something for everybody. There you yeah. go. Yeah. It, and our T-shirts. Our T-shirts. Yeah, yeah, let me show you the T-shirt. We have a, uh, a new design this year. This was designed by a graphic artist that uh, has partnered with our club, and we've got a. Uh, a guitar there with all of the performers listed. It's got our uh, official 41A music logo, our music festival logo. Mentions downtown Tullahoma. Actually lists the Kiwanis vision of changing the, the mm -hmm. world one child at a time. Uh, fourth annual and has the dates on there. Uh, on the back, we've got the uh, 41A logo across That's the back. Great. And uh, it's the real soft cotton. Uh, it's uh, oh, what's yeah. popular right now. Yeah, yeah. That's and, sleep uh, goods right These there. shirts are, uh, <laughs> we set the price real low on these because we simply want to get them out there and let people see them in the community. And what's real low? Uh, $15. Okay. That and uh, they'll be on sale Friday and Saturday till we run out. But even before the show, you can get these shirts at Southern Community Bank through, okay. th through Thursday at noon. Thursday at noon. Very and good. And then we're going to take them down to the festival. Oh. I actually, we'll leave them there until Friday morning at noon and okay. then we'll go down and get them and get bring them up to the okay. festival all right but uh just stop down downstairs and ask for bertha and she'll have a shirt bertha will have them all right folks 41a festival let's all be there and let's all come back right after this commercial message looking for a unique gift for someone special or perhaps something just for yourself then you need to check out Grady Mac Denim Company, right here in the heart of Tullahoma. Grady Mac features the full line of men's and women's Lucky brand apparel. Stop in and check out our denim production line. Grady Mac offers a full line of outdoor sporting apparel and much more. And check out our custom fly fishing equipment, fine art, and fine sports memorabilia. There's something for everyone at Grady Mac Denim Company, the most unique store in Tullahoma. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. The Charter Triple Play lets you experience TV, internet, and phone the way you want with no contracts. Hooked on HD? Now over 100 HD channels available. Movie lover? 
Get 10,000 on-demand movies and shows, 1,500 in HD, including movies in 3D. Missing your favorite shows? Record and watch TV with DVR service for four rooms and over 780 hours of storage space. Get Charter TV for $29.99 a month. Photo fiend, music fan, video streamer? Switch to super fast Charter Internet and do it all with the bandwidth to support all your devices. At 30 megabits per second, Charter Internet is 10 times faster than the phone company's DSL. Get Charter Internet for $29.99 a month. Want more talk for less? Charter Phone has unlimited long distance calling with no added fees like the phone company charges. Get Charter Phone for $29.99 a month. The new Charter Triple Play. TV, internet, and phone for just $29.99 a month each when bundled. Call 855-81-T-PLAY now. Welcome back. We have a lot going on about horses today. I'm on the set with Patsy Freeman Hi. and Joanne Halcom, and we're going to talk about Horse play. <laughs> right. I'm fixing to trade in my hat. I love the hat, by the way. I, <laughs> I was feeling kind of bad that I didn't wear my hat. Well, you're welcome. You're talent. trading your hat for? Uh, for an apron. All right. Because uh -huh. our horse play luncheon is coming up the end of October, 25th of October. 25th of October. And we just realized we were getting organized here. And we've got to have And you got your aprons ready to, to cook. start cooking. <laughs> and you're going to do it at where? First Methodist? <gasps> Church again. Yes. Yep, at the activity center they there. They are so gracious. They are wonderful. And they, wonderful, the wonderful supporters. things they do is, yes. and allow the community to do. And I know it's always a big event. And not only did they furnish us with the building and the cooking they bring utensils. Food in for us. They are just so and, and you it's a great kitchen there. It yes. Is. It and, is. And they're so gracious and all their staff helps us. It's just, know, they're, they're just wonderful. They're wonderful. What's on the menu? Oh, let's talk about the food. How does turkey, dressing, ham, gravy, hot rolls, a multitude of desserts salads, and salads. vegetables, and the desserts are out of this Sweet world. potatoes, dressing. Oh my gosh, and you get all that for how much money? Ten dollars. Good grief. With your drink. Here's your what drink. I like. You don't have to even go sit down and eat it. You can order 10 groups or 20 mm -hmm. and take them home and invite all your friends. Right. That's right. Feed people for $10. That no. kind of meal for $10. No. No. <laughs> Plus the cause. It, it's just such an awesome cause. How many yeah. children or how many, it's all handicapped or yeah. challenged Challenge. right. individuals and how many do you think you all service? Well, every year we, are allowed, we have room to ride 24 children. We That's have three wonderful. sessions. And, and it's, it, you know, there's children on the waiting list and as children get older, and kind of graduate out, yeah. then we can bring in you the bring new, in bring, new ones. Exactly, or are people you, move away and Are so you ever on. looking for more horses or volunteers? Yes. We, yeah. we, Always. Take, we take calls um, about the horses and sometimes if they, if they meet the need, it's a small horse that's relatively healthy because we can't just handle sure. lots of vet bills and such, you know, then we, we then go out and take a look at them. And, a, and a, a good number in. of our horses have been volunteered over the years, that's donated good. over the years. In fact, we realized when we were organizing for the luncheon this time that this is the 15th. Oh my goodness, Lunch 15 years. years. And you've been there every time, haven't you? She has yes. been there from the very get go. Patsy yes. Freeman, you, are, you do such wondrous work, not only for horse play, but other, oh, other things. Thank and you. Uh, I am very appreciative of the volunteers in this community. Well, it's we a great place to live. We appreciate you. you thank do. you. In this program, for so the we word can out. get the now, word out. Now, what time does the luncheon actually start? You can come for takeout starting at about 10.30. 10 we'll start putting takeout together. And we actual dine-in is from 11 to about 1.30. 11 to about 1.30. Yeah. And if you want to make a reservation, you call that you really rather they make a reservation. Because well, you got we, food to buy. Right, well, we, we, but we, you can still come. Right? Sure. Right. Buy the tickets at the door or there's going to be a lot of churches are going to have it in their bulletin how to get a hold Good. of different members to, to purchase tickets. It takes a lot That's of work. That's the, um, the takeout number. Yeah. and that actually won't work until the morning of takeout. Okay. But if you know someone that's involved in horseplay, you can just say, I'm going to do takeout, and, and, then and we can kind of get yeah, an idea ahead of time. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. And if we ever have any leftovers, we make good use of that. I we know do. you do. Where do you we, go with the leftovers? Uh, we go to Shepherd's House. And the, and the Wednesday evening um, hot, hot meals, meals program. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are so many 
needs in every community yes. and often people overlook those needs and when we're all busy overeating we need to think about that that's <laughs> right but i have bought food from this uh event that you all are having and it, i just have to say it's always wonderful well, peggy we want you to come and get a free lunch oh you my god so I, I will give you money for my lunch but how very sweet of you and this is uh friday october 25th. 25th. I can't see that without my glasses. And that's not very long mm -hmm. away. It's no. kind of around the, uh, the well, Halloweenish gonna, time. So right. we're gonna start I suppose cooking. if you want to wear your costume, you could just go <laughs> ahead and right. put it on. Well, listen, don't forget to get your ticket. Support this wonderful cause. Joanne, thank you so thank much. You, thank Appreciate you, Peggy. Thank you, Pat. I love Peggy. you guys. We'll you be back too. with more of Living. I thought the Red Cross does Katrina. They don't help single moms. Hi. What happened to our house last year it about your birthday? It flooded and the water flooded out. Yeah. The Red Cross arranged the hotel for us. They gave me that break, that leverage, to be able to get it together and uh, take care of them, you know? I feel like we've come full circle. Like that. Mm -hmm. This is how I'll do it. There you go. Partners for Healing provides medical care to the working uninsured of Coffee, Franklin, and Moore counties. We are in Tullahoma from 8 to 5, Monday through Thursdays, and in Manchester on Fridays from 8 to 12. We provide primary medical care and offer an in-house disease management program. My name is Rosie Mitchell, and I would just like to say I am blessed to have partners in my life. Please call 455-5014 for more information. Thank you for being one of our Partners for Healing. A salute to the Never Wasters, the Coupon Clippers, Switch Flippers, One Last Drop of Milk Drippers, the Thoughtfully Thrifty, and the Just Plain Cheap. Charter respects your economic IQ and honors it with a phone service worthy of your ever-watchful wallet. Charter Phone, just $19.99 a month for real monthly savings for fabulously frugal folks like you. Switch to Charter Phone and get unlimited local and long distance and 13 calling features with no extra fees like the phone company charges you. I have a little clip coming up for you from The Trouble with Cats. Take it away, guys. Do we, Alex? Uh, I have parts, Sean. Uh, where is everyone? Uh, I'm hungry. Do you have any chocolates? Mmm, ho host. I love host. Thank you, Parker John. <laughs> Anything else? Is, is that it? That's it. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, that's just a little bit from The Trouble with Cats. It's coming off with Millennium Theater over in Manchester at the Art Center. Yes, Friday at the night. Manchester Art Center. Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week, and Friday, Saturday, Sunday the following week, 7.30 showtime. 7.30 showtime. Oh, I should tell the people who you are. How nice that I sit here and forgotten your names. All right, this is Belinda Ivins, her daughter Alex, her husband John, and you're going to have to tell me again. Jamie Lamb. Jamie Lamb. I remembered the part about, I was saying to myself, Mary had a little lamb, and I said, no, it's not really Mary. <laughs> anyway, they're doing the, <laughs> the trouble with cats, and any of you that have ever had a cat are going to love this, or if you haven't had a cat, you're going to love this. It's a comedy, isn't it? Yes, yes it's a romantic comedy. And what's your part? Well, I, I actually, I was going to say, it's okay if you just get the lamb part right, because I actually replaced someone named Cindy Lamb. And You're I say the, the only reason I got the part was because they only had to retype the first name. Cause they exactly. Already, they'd already yeah. done all the it's programs. It's already there. So. <laughs> but I play, uh, I play Joy, who, uh, as our director says, is no Joy. It's no um, Joy. She's a beer-swilling, uh, cigarette-smoking, uh, nosy neighbor, and I'm sure we've all had one. And uh, I had one for 15 years, and I, I'll say that there are part, aspects of her personality that trickled into joy trick, so. yeah and i think that probably after watching the play you'll find somebody you know that kind of matches all these parts john who do you play i play a mysterious character i mean parker john i won't say much more because it kind of gives away the kind of plot. okay so yeah. we'll just but, we'll just leave it at that yes there you go and alex you are oni i like to eat chocolate all the time well so do i i'm with you about the chocolate and belinda you're directing Yes, I'm directing adults. Is this your first time. first time to direct adults? Do you yes. find it harder to direct adults than children? A little <laughs> bit harder because I'm a school teacher and generally they, <laughs> they take direction really well. Adults, 
they take direction, but they also have more of their independent ideas. <laughs> well, and you know, they're doing their, they're not getting paid, they're here no. to have fun, and I, I, by knowing what your, who your cast is, you have an awesome cast. I don't think there's a slacker in the group. You have about 13 people on stage, don't you? Yes, and since it is my first time to direct adults, I picked a wonderful mentor to help me with directing, and that's Charlie Winton. Oh my goodness, Charlie's great. One thing I like about this, this has not been done on Broadway. The trouble with Cats, I don't know where all it's been done, but I know that the playwright, and what's his name? Gary Ray Stapp, he will be attending the play on the 28th. That's Saturday night. Saturday night. So if you'd like to, I'm assuming he'll allow himself to be introduced, and so it would be wonderful for your characters. They ought to be really alerted to do their very best job. Yeah, we hope so. It's a little what, pressure. A little <laughs> pressure, yeah. And what do you think um, made him want to come? The fact that you're doing it, of course, well, but I think to it, Tennessee. I think if I've written a small play, if someone were doing my play, <laughs> I would want to see how they interpreted exactly. it. Exactly. And we have a great cast, Tony Graham, Ann Black, Tony's wife, Debbie Graham. Crystal McCullough. And Crystal, who plays many characters in life. Yes, and Gina Chapman. As well Chap as on stage. Gina Chapman and oh, Rob Gina. Allen. I yes. haven't seen her on stage in a while. How great. Well, you will see Gina in an atypical role for her. She is playing a carpenter. Oh, my goodness. And how about Rob? What's he playing? Rob is. He's my husband. Oh, gosh. And husband. now I don't look anything like this in the play either. So oh, you don't? <laughs> I'm totally different. So you're all, I'll bet you're all pumped up with uh, Dolly Parton makeup and stuff? No. 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 Nope, no I'm not. Oh, I can't I, wait to see you. Not glamorous by any means. It's, okay. It's, uh, I, I love the idea. It's a great it, part. What is the setting of this play? Is it like now? It's, it's modern day. That's why we chose the play. I would love to go to see something where I don't know the ending already, and this will definitely surprise you. And I like that too. We have left out Morgan and Amanda Underwood. Oh they, my goodness! They yeah. play the the hippie couple from North Carolina, <laughs> and I'll bet they play it well. Yes, and and they are vegan, uh, vegetarian. No Clements, don't forget him. Yeah, and Noel has a has a cameo. Shot. Noel Clements has a cameo. He brought the house down last mm -hmm. night. We saw his performance, and I almost couldn't keep a straight face, and I was oh, on good. stage. Yeah. Him, so. <laughs> he brings a house down every time he sets foot on stage. Alex, have you had fun doing this play? Is it one of your favorites? I, I, I am so glad to see you up there being involved in plays, because I've seen you other times. And I, I think that I will tell the audience that you have autism, and you are such a shining example for anyone that has autism, and I'm so proud of you. The part was written for her, it seems like, exactly what she's going to be. Tony, yeah. you'll, you'll see some resemblance to a person like That's like wonderful. Alex. That's Alex, wonderful. What, what is your line about Shrek that you get to mm -hmm. say? We're getting married. Just think Shrek and Princess Fiona. <laughs> and I say, <laughs> we are. <laughs> we are. <laughs> and you respond. That's a typical male response. <laughs> yes. All right, well, let's reiterate real quick that this play is coming off this weekend, 7.30 on Friday and Saturday, 2 p.m. matinee, is that correct? Yes, yes And then the following week, 4th, 5th, 6th of October, 7.30, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday matinee. And if you want tickets, we need to call. What's the number? Somebody, quick. You, I know you can go online. You can go online at millenniumrep.org or 931 570 Don't forget to see this wonderful play. Thank you guys for coming. We are just flying off the set. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Peggy. <laughs>
uh, crisis line that uh, serves uh, the counties of uh, Moore, Coffee, Franklin, and Bedford counties. Uh, we also have a reassurance line that those who, are, who have uh, homebound, who are, have some infirmity and can't get out and, and do very much, that we will contact them every day mm -hmm. and check, make sure they've had their meals, they're taking their medicine. Uh, if they need anything, we make sure that uh, they're taken care of. If we don't get them on the phone, we call people to check on them or we call law enforcement to do a wellness check. This helps people stay at home rather than having to go into a nursing home facility or a special care facility. Sure. And so then we have the teen to teen lines. The teen, teenagers like to talk to each other, but not on the phone as much <laughs> as verbally as well as texting and uh -huh. instant messaging. And so we have teens that actually are trained to help teens deal with their issues. Mm -hmm. And the main thing. We're, we're fighting for is to keep people alive and stop this curse of suicide that's among it's in our community and Jason knows this as well as anybody that we're in an epidemic and contact is on the front line we train volunteers with 24 hour, uh, 24 hours of uh, in-house training uh, and then uh, eight to ten hours of apprenticeship on the phone so they're trained to handle what comes their way mm -hmm. And, and you, you guys, I have to say, do a phenomenal job because I, it's got to take a lot of volunteers to make this happen. What you because you're twenty four seven, I think, aren't you? We need a minimum of sixty volunteers. Unbelievable to, uh, to, to continue that. the uh, the the services. And contact is thirty four years old, and and still growing. We uh, we've uh, updated our technology and uh, way of in our e education and training programs to second to none in the country second mm -hmm. to none and it's free for those who w really want to get involved and with people like Jason coming on board to help bring awareness and f and uh, bring not just awareness but financing to keep us going because it's a free service it doesn't cost anyone anything mm -hmm. and he's put, put together a great event coming up on October the 5th to uh, support contact in the, in the near future and the long term. Now, does this event have anything to do with Mad Sam? Absolutely. Now, it's, it's kind of funny because I was telling Jason uh, before he came in the air that somebody suggested I be, uh, friend Mad Sam on uh, Facebook, and I was thought, who is Mad Sam? I, I don't, so I, and, and I'm going to find this out today. <laughs> and that's the idea we wanted, you know. We, right. we wanted to come up with a short, catchy name that would get people's attention. Mm -hmm. um, so the question we normally get is, what are you mad about? About, you know, so mm -hmm. Mad Sam is an acronym that stands for Making a Difference Suicide Awareness Movement. Oh. Um, so it gets people's attention, gets them to thinking about mm -hmm. what the world is Mad Sam, you know. Uh -huh. Um, but we, we were blessed to partner with Contact Lifeline this year for our efforts and, uh, you know, to back up and, and, and boast on Contact Lifeline a little bit. These guys are heroes. I mean, I mean, no I doubt agree. they're heroes. I Being agree. able to, to be on the phone 24-7 and, and, and having the courage to answer that phone not knowing what in the world kind of crisis is going to be on the other mm -hmm. end of it. That's a hero in my book. And heroes never like to boast, but I'm going to boast about them a little bit. They were instrumental in a young man in the area still having a heartbeat just this morning. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, that, that, that shows the value to Southern Middle Tennessee. Sure. And, uh, you know, that they're, they're a nonprofit group, so every bit of financial support keeps Contact Lifeline's heartbeat going. And that's our goal. For this year is to bring in uh, financial support and also volunteer support. We're frequently uh, requesting volunteers to come out and help and Contact Lifeline trains these people through an official training program so that they're able to to react to these crisis situations in a professional and, and confidential manner. Um, David was talking about this being an ap epidemic. Um, suicide is termed a silent epidemic because there's such a stigma attached to suicide. You know nobody wants to talk about it. Um, because the embarrassment or the, the, the fear of ridicule or, or what, what, what have you. Um, Tennessee, um, I, I'm sad to say that Tennessee's suicide rate is 20% above the national average, and that's not a that's statistic to be proud of. Um, we have the 18th highest suicide rate in the nation, and, and we've got to change that. And it's only going to be changed by people having the courage to talk about it and uh, learn the warning signs, learn how to react to them and uh, be involved with organizations like Mad Sam and Contact Lifeline and really get, get out there and make a difference. Uh, you, did you mention that you have a, an event that's featured? Tell, tell us about that event. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, coming up in, in about 10 days, actually, is making me nervous. Uh, we've got our second annual Unity Walk scheduled uh, on Saturday, October the 5th at the Winchester City Park. 
Uh, beautiful venue over there right on the lake. Uh, we're going to do a unity walk, but we've got a ton of events scheduled that day. It's going to be a day of celebration, not a day of, of mourning or sadness, but a day of celebration of life. We've got uh, a poker run that kicks off at 10 a.m. that morning, and then at 12 o'clock we start the kids zone and a, a cornhole contest and bingo, and we've got a ton. We've been inundated with a ton of talented musicians that were wanting to take part, both on a local scene and from the Nashville Country Music uh, Arena. So. We're going to do what's called picking in the park that starts at two o'clock and uh, th that's, that's going to be something you won't want to miss. So uh, the easiest way for folks to learn about what we got coming up is to friend us on Facebook. Uh, we're listed as Mad Sam in Winchester, Tennessee. There are a lot of Mad Sams on Facebook as you can admit, uh, <laughs> imagine, uh, but uh, we're Mad Sam in Winchester, Tennessee and uh, we, we post all of our information on a daily basis including uh, warning signs and how to react to those warning signs and prevention terms and techniques. Um, you're always welcome to call me personally. My number is 931-691-0629 and the most important number I can share with you today, if you're out there and, and you're having some negative thoughts or you recognize a loved one that might be struggling a little bit, is the Contact Lifeline uh, Crisis Hotline, David. That number is one 800 Four five four eight three three six. I uh, encourage you to make that phone call. These folks are completely professional and confidential and compassionate. Uh, they offer everything they do in a non-judgmental uh, attitude, and I appreciate what they do for Southern Middle Tennessee. Okay, yeah, we do, and we all do as well. And uh, we encourage you folks to get out and, and take part in this, folks. Thank, uh, thank you. David, thank you again for thank what you, all your sir. organization we appreciate it. does. Jason, thank lots you. of luck with this. Appreciate Jason. Uh, this this coming support. up. It's a great, uh, and I'm going to friend you on the uh, thank Facebook. you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> all right, folks. We'll be right back in just a moment. Right after these messages. Look around. The changes catch your eye And you come to realize One can make a difference Since 1915, Kiwanis International has touched millions of lives. When you help one child, you help the world. But one can make a difference Gentlemen, John put me back in the hot seat just, yeah. just for a moment, just so I could see if I can remember. Remember, this I is cool this over here. Is, yeah, it's a cool spot. Isn't I get to sit next to Peg. Yeah. That's right. That's all, and that's fun. It I, is I, fun. I, it's always. Fun. I don't know if you ever noticed it or not. But we have anyway. a lot going on this weekend. Everybody, get off the couch. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Get off the couch. Go somewhere and do something. We're out of time. Thanks for watching. See you, we'll folks. see you next time.